anger about American military action against Syria manifesting itself on the streets of downtown L.A. Saturday night. No more U.S. attack! More than 100 pro-Syrian demonstrators came to Pershing Square to condemn U.S. intervention and stand with Syria's embattled president Bashar al-Assad, seen by many in the world as a murderous dictator. So do you support President Bashar al-Assad? 100% I support the president of my legitimate country, who has been fighting terrorism on behalf of the whole world. Johnny Achi was born and raised in Syria, and he believes the videos depicting victims of alleged regime chemical attacks are nothing more than a hoax. Trump pretended to believe the videos he was watching. These videos are so fake that the U.S. had to create another false flag, hoping that will create enough world demand for war. That looks staged, you know. Uh, we're famous. We got Hollywood here. Many in the crowd believe the U.S. is using humanitarianism as a pretext to go to war in Syria, and they point to America's past in the Middle East to prove their point. How can we believe the chemical weapons were used in Syria where no evidence has been presented whatsoever? They've said it before and it turned out to be an absolute lie in Iraq, in Libya. But across the street, you'll find somebody who disagrees. When Hillary Clinton bombed Libya, where are you guys at? She calls herself T. And she's a Trump supporter. I'm here protesting these people. A lot of these people are being paid to protest. I feel that there's a group of people radicalizing other people to not listen to reason but go off of emotions. No matter what happens next in Syria, one thing is clear. They don't care if Syrians die. The line has been drawn in the sand. No one is telling the whole story. But we believe we back our president because he's protecting the Damascus, he's protecting the cities, protecting the people of Syria. They are Trump supporters down here, and even though I am the only one, there's a lot of us out there, and we need to be vocal about it. Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.